so welcome to this short training video uh, it is to do with the tool for making square profile threads which of course you can do directly but you can automate the process using the tools available in SOLIDWORKS so I want to show you how to go about it so to start with we go to open to locate the source files which needs to be changed and to show you exactly where it is the thread profiles so when I open this what you'll see are those five files located inside which are already pre-made by SOLIDWORKS and the file that we are interested in to make uh, a square tab threading tool is we shall use this template here which is already there and I want to copy it and edit it so first of all copy then paste it back and we rename that file you can rename it to what you like but for this case I'll call it SQ metric uh, tab now we open this file and we want to edit the profile or the diagram that you're seeing there so uh, edit it and it has some information we don't need uh, this one we don't need this this okay I'll delete these two lines and this so let's do the dimension of what we're seeing I'll take uh, this one and make it to equal to this one half of it accept that then make this line line make it equal to this and join them to make our diagram complete okay some definitions to do this line sorry small dimension this line is equal to this one. except and our diagram is fully defined so we just save this file close it then now is it possible now to apply that thread automatically onto this one so we move to whole wizard then see that our cylinder has a chamfer already and I'll explain this to you because without that chamfer the whole wizard apparently does not work well so i'll pick the location this one the first page then maybe i can make it blind so that it doesn't have to go to the end uh, then uh, our thread tool is already there and you can choose any of them as per your liking uh, maybe I can change to okay the, our diameter there is about uh, 33 so maybe what it has okay, it's slightly smaller so let's go to maybe this one okay 
then and let's see what it's going to do and there you have your threads cut okay you can see the square from the inside they're going up to the place we had indicated now that is a tapping tool you need for the outer side you need to have a die and following this I'll be showing you how to make a die cutting tool for the square thread now in this second part of the video I'll show you how to make the thread cutting tool for the square profile uh, using a die tool that we're going to make out of what is already existing in SOLIDWORKS. So we go back to that folder and that is a folder there, Thread Profiles folder. I'll open it. And as you can see, this is the one we made earlier. Now we want to make, see that this is for tap, we want to make for die, and the procedure is almost the same. Uh, so let me open it. I'll first of all copy and paste it back uh, and rename it to square metric die. Then we open it. So that's our diagram there. We want to edit it. Now see that this case is opposite or a mirror of what we did first of the cutting tool. Now I'll as before I'll delete this. Delete the angle. Again, these two are equal. This and this. Then use a line tool to join those points. this line and this line there you go and with that our diagram is fully defined now we save it and close it open back our cylinder there it is and this time round we want to apply the cutting thread or the die on this surface the outer surface and uh, to do that and we go to features then what I explained earlier is probably we are going to experience it right now I'll not put a, a chamfer there and let's see if it is going to accept cut now thread okay accept that okay we'll do a blind 
So the first location is this one. Look at that error message. It is unable to cut this feature because it would result in zero thickness geometry. Now to correct that, I'll get out of this, just cancel this. Then I will chamfer this edge. So chamfer. accept that. Now, let's try the thread again. Uh, okay. Location is this point here. defined maybe make this one 15 everything else the same then we say cut and there you are that explained my point of uh, the initial need to chamfer that edge and with that now we have our thread profile we can edit a bit so that uh, we bring it out a bit so that it opens and we put some offset of say okay the reverse direction see it as a very nice entry yeah the thread is entered nicely into the body of the cylinder and uh, that is the process you can use now both of those tools and uh, probably change the naming of the M to square and you will have your tool set in the next video I'll be showing you how to use the ACME tool it's just in following a similar procedure as this that we've done for the square thread.